With the NBA season winding down, I did want to take a look at who the contenders and the pretenders are in the NBA. Today, we're going to do the Western Conference edition of this. And honestly, we're just going to get right into this video and we're going to take pretty much the top 10 teams in the West right now. I don't think I didn't include Utah in this because I think they're too far out. I don't even think they're going to make the play in. So we're going to start with Minnesota and I'm going to say pretenders here. And I think Anthony Edwards is having a really good year. He's a great player. I think Carl Anthony Towns can play. Rudy Gobert has been good for them in this regular season. But I just don't trust Carl Anthony Towns or Rudy Gobert in the playoffs. I just don't see it. They haven't had success before. Anthony Edwards might be too young. Like, he hasn't played in big playoff series. So I, I'm just thinking about, like, these matchups here. And I don't see them beating really anyone when it got to the conference finals. So that's why I'm going to say Timberwolves, Pretenders. Number two, the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is this was really tough for me. I am going to say Pretenders, but it's really in between Contenders and Pretenders. I think their biggest problem is they're a year away. They don't have a lot of playoff experience. SGA has a couple of series under his belt, but really in the grand scheme of things, they just don't have a lot of playoff experience at all. And I think I really think they're a year away. I, I think this is a team that can, could win it all next year after you know they go through some playoffs, but I just don't see a path where they make it to the NBA Finals. So for now, I'm going to have to put them in pretenders. Next to the Nuggets, obviously contenders. They're a team who obviously... It's coming off winning the NBA title last year, and as long as you got Jokic is probably the best player in the world right now, I think at this point, and you have Jamal Murray there, I think they have the proper depth around them at this point where they could make a big run, so I, yeah, I definitely, the Nuggets are 100% a contender. On to the Clippers, they're a contender in my book, and I know they just lost a tough game to the Lakers, but when they're all healthy... When James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George are all healthy, this is a team that could easily make a run at this this title. Could easily make a run at getting out of the West. But that's the thing. Can they all stay healthy? With all of them healthy, 100% a contender. That's why the Suns, I have to call them a contender. Things could shake up roughly for them, but if their guys are healthy, if you have Kevin Durant healthy, if you have... Bradley Beal healthy, Devin Booker healthy. They can compete. They're not a team to count out. Going to the Pelicans, these are pretenders in my book. I just haven't really seen a lot from them this year. Zion has taken steps, but is he going to be available for all these postseason games? He's one to, you know, often sometimes take breaks. I like Brandon Ingram, but I just don't see them legitimately having a shot to get out of the, out of the West. And then seven, the Mavericks. This is a pretender for me as well. And this could be probably the most controversial one of the entire thing. I just, I, I, they're rolling in certain aspects. Luka is a great player. Kyrie, insane offensive player. Are they going to be able to play enough defense? And I know Luka's defense has gotten better. But are they going to be able to play enough defense to get out of the West? I, I just don't see it. So that's why I have them as pretenders. Going on to the Kings, these are another group of pretenders in my book. Aaron Fox, he's good. He's one of the best point guards in the league. Sabonis, great rebounder. He's leading all categories in rebounding. They have other good side pieces like Harrison Barnes, Kevin Herter. But I really just don't see a deep run within this team. I don't think they're built for a deep run. That's just my opinion with it. I like. I don't think they could beat the Nuggets. I don't think they could beat the Clippers. I don't even know if they could beat the next team that we're about to talk to, talk about. And that's going to be the Warriors, who I have them as contenders. I have them as contenders because, you know, you just don't count out the greats. Steph Curry is a guy where you just can't count them out. I think that they've been playing it really well recently. And they have guys like Podinski, who is new. Kuminga has been playing really well. Clay off the bench is scarier than we think. I really think so. They're, they're contenders because I could see them, you know, if they get hot, if Steph gets hot, they can beat anybody. And then the Lakers, they're going to be contenders for me. They're coming off a big win against the Clippers last night. You got to saw LeBron can still turn it on. Like LeBron is still great and can get the defense going at a better clip. 
I mean, you have a roster here of players. It's about, are they on? When they're on, they're really tough to beat. Now, they've struggled with the Nuggets, but I think that there's possibilities where they could get there. I don't think it's impossible. So I will say that they're contenders in this category, and that's what I have for the Western Conference as of right now.